we're going to take a look at configurations. Configurations are really a useful tool in SOLIDWORKS that allows us to save a bunch of time on repetitive types of parts. Say you've got a paper clip and you model a small paper clip and now you need to model a big paper clip. But the basic configuration, the shape of it, basic sort of proportions of things is all the same. Why not reuse that geometry from the original to make another version or configuration? On drawings, we'll often tabulate it and say it's a dash 1, dash 2, dash 3, a bunch of different versions of the same thing. I'm going to do it with a linkage design so we can see how it works. So I'm going to go up and start a part. We'll sketch on the front plane. And I'm going to use the uh, slot command because I really like the way that sketches these kinds of shapes out quick. Go ahead and put some dimensions on it just so that when we get to modifying the different versions, you can see what I have in mind. The only other dimension that I need is the length. I'm going to go with four inches so it's a little short stubby guy. Extrude him. And let's make that a quarter of an inch thick. Say OK. And now we have a blank. I'm going to start with, uh, there aren't any cases in my designs that I'm going to use a blank. So I'm going to go ahead and punch some holes in this. And what I'm going to do is put a hole in each end separately. And the only reason I'm doing them separately is so I can control them separately later. I don't really have to do it that way, but that's the, the way I'm going to approach this since there may be different sizes at each end. So I'll start a sketch on this surface, go to circle, grab this guy, and let's go ahead and dimension that to a real number. And that's going to be one inch as well. And punch that through, extrude cut, through all, go. So there's the first hole, second hole, and again, I don't have to do this this way, but I, I really want to keep these separate so that I can think of them as each a, a unique feature. So put the next one in, dimension that, and we'll call that one point six two five. Punch a hole in there. through all, go. Okay, so we've got a simple link. And and we'll, we're starting out, really the scenario is often just very realistic, is that maybe somebody's looking over my shoulder while I'm modeling this link one day. We're just talking, I'm sitting there modeling a piece that I need and a linkage of some, some mechanical movement kind of thing and they just see me doing it and then a couple days later they get a project that is similar. It's a, it's a linkage with holes on the ends and and they're thinking, well, why don't I just use his model and just modify it? Or if they know about configurations, why don't I just make you know some more versions of this as configurations? So that's the approach that I'm going to take now, is that we already have one which has the, the dimensions of the first idea, the first size. Now I want to modify that. That is, I want to add to it and have another configuration. If you go up here to these tabs, you'll find Configuration Manager. If you haven't used that before, then about the only other time you would directly use it is if you're setting up assemblies, like for an exploded assembly or something like that. But I'll go ahead and go now to the default configuration, Part 1, they call it. It's the only one I've made so far. So I right-click on it go to add derived configuration. It's going to derive another version, a configuration from this one as a starting point. So I'll hit derived and then give it a name. Well this first one I'm just going to make longer. So I'm going to just call the name longer. It could be dash one, dash two, could be ABC, it could be whatever we want. I just want something to let me know what the difference is and say OK. And now, if I expand the default box here, I see that I really am, the one that's highlighted, that's active, is the longer one. Well, I haven't made it longer yet, but it has basically made kind of a duplicate part. So I can go now back to the, the tree and take a look at 
the feature, the original feature that made the length, which is the sketch. Right click, edit sketch, and I had four inches. I'm going to double click on that. I want this to be 10 inches. Before I do it though, there's an important key piece is that I only want it to be 10 inches on this version. I don't want it to mess up or, me or modify my original 4 inch version. So I've got to go down here to this box where right now it's defaulting to that this dimension is going to apply to all configurations. I don't want that. So I'll click on the arrow and grab this configuration. Now this, this new dimension that I'm going to put in, which I am going to make 10 inches, is only going to apply to this configuration. Check it. Now it's longer. Close the sketch and I have a longer linkage. If I go back to Configuration Manager, I now have two versions of this part. I have the original default version. I just double clicked on it and I have the new longer version. Pretty slick. Easy way to make a, a simple change. I'll go ahead and make another one where this hole becomes the same size as this hole. So same basic process kind of over and over again. As you need a new link, you can go up here, a new component that's similar to the old one. You can go, I usually go back to the default, make it active, right click on it, go to add derived configuration, and give it another name. So I'm just going to say same hole diameter. Now, notice that we're currently in the component, the, the version of the part that's called same hole diameter, but it hasn't been modified yet. So I go back out here to the tree, go to where those holes were made. Well, remember, I made them separately, so the only one I need to modify is this guy. So go in there, edit the sketch, double click on that dimension and I want it to be the same as that one. Remember the same issue applies though. I only want this new hole size to apply at this particularly designed link, this configuration. So I go over here, switch it from all configurations to this configuration. Then change my number. In this case it's one inch. Close the sketch. It looks same. And now if I go back to Configuration Manager, I'm in this, the one with the same holes. If I want to go the longer one, double click on that. If I want to go to the default shorter one, double click on that. So you can see it's really a, a useful way to make kind of the same part over and over again with just slight differences to it. And the method I'm showing today is just called configurations. Uh, another demo is going to show or has shown a, um, a design table attack where we can use an Excel spreadsheet to make a whole bunch of different versions of parts and instead of modifying them manually the way we're doing each of these we just modify some numbers in an Excel spreadsheet but in this one I'm not going that attack I'm just doing a configuration at a time because sometimes that's all we need